Hi there. Uh, I sneaked in, in my into my kids' room, uh, only room where there's uh, some quiet space at the moment. So I wanted to talk to you about uh, the apnea because many women experience uh, some challenges when starting to practicing apnea. And the reason for this is that we are not used to engage the diaphragm and the rib cage and all the muscles in, in between the, the ribs called the intercostal muscles. They're like excess, <laughs> like this, in between each rib. And um, they are the reason, in combination with the skeleton formation, of course, that we can expand and contract. Um, and all these muscles are usually not used to work in this way. And also, of course, the diaphragm, which is like a cupole inside of the chest and the ribcage. And when we inhale, it kind of comes down like this. And when we exhale, it comes down up like this. And so it gives, you know, it will affect all the organs underneath the diaphragm and above the diaphragm. So it's just a lot of things going on here in combination with the signals to the brain that like, okay, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, opening the, the rib cage, even though we're not breathing in. And that's the reason this is called the false inhalation, because we breathe out and then open up like we are taking an inhalation, but no air comes in. And all these different components, the muscles, all the, the fascia around it, the nerve endings, the actual, you know, diaphragm muscle. It is getting used to doing something new. And it can be painful for women when they start to do this. It can feel really uncomfortable. It can feel like you can't hold your breath, like you <laughs> need to breathe in. Um, it can cause uh, dizziness. Uh, it can cause... Um, nausea, it can, you know, flare up a lot of different emotions. Um, and this is completely normal. So don't feel apnea is not for you if you experience negative emotions the first times that you are practicing apnea. So what I recommend for women experiencing challenging emotions or physical uh, sensations that are not comfortable, I, I do recommend to definitely continue the lateral breath. If that worked out well for you, continue to do that at least 10 minutes a day, as I always recommend. If you can, Try to do an apnea for like one or two seconds in the beginning. If your body has been giving you signals that this is a challenging thing, then go ahead and just do it very shortly. And maybe you can build on from there. So listen to your body, take it step by step. Most of you will definitely be able to add on and slowly increase the time that you can hold the apnea because that's ultimately what we want. We want to hold the apnea for as long as we can without forcing, without the in-breath to be like... <gasps> we want to have a smooth, flowy breath all the time. Yeah, I think that's all I wanted to share in this video around you know, experiencing challenges for, uh, during the apnea. Let me know in the comments below uh, what sensations or feelings, emotions uh, the apnea brings out for you. And I will try to do my best to guide you from there. Have a great day.